What else up, Broski? It's PC Gaming XA here, telling you how to set up a bucket server on 1.3.1, I think it is at the moment. So, anyway, what we're going to need is the following things. So, we'll start off with Java JRE. Okay, so you want to download Java JRE. Don't, just because you have Java doesn't mean you have Java JRE. So, what you want to do is download this, okay? Uh, 32 bit download that one, 64 bit download that one. If you don't know what version your Windows on, just go down to start button and click, type in DX. Diag, like that. Give it a minute to load, and then it should tell you which version of Windows you are on somewhere around here. Um, oh, oh, do bit. Ah, there we go. Operating system 64 bit. So you want to be on 64 bit. So then what you're going to do is download because I'm on 64 bit. I'm going to download the 64 bit, but I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So you're going to do is download that one, and then next, 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 because there's no spam word that comes with it. Okay, so once you've downloaded and installed Java JRE, what you want to download next is Craft Bucket. So you want to download this development build at the very top, okay? And then what you're going to do is download that. I'll update the link for you. Don't worry about this, guys. I'll update the link for you when the when the more recent development build comes out or a bit uh, recommended build comes out. I'll put that in the description for you. So what you're going to do is just download this development build like so. So blah blah blah. So I'm just going to leave that to download. Sorry about my horrible internet connection. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is a. We need to set up a notepad, a server.bat dot bat notepad. So what we're going to do is just create a new folder on your desktop. Just call it server or something. I don't know. Server. And then you're going to do is install. All right. So what you're going to do is just right click in the new, and then new text document. So you should have a new text document like so. You don't have to rename it. It's up to you because it is going to get deleted straight after. So what we're going to do is just double click on new text document, so it opens up like so. Alright, now what you're going to do is you want to copy this code here, this one. But not this one exactly, because you are now upgraded to Java JRE 6. So you want to get the second one down, this one. What we're going to do is just copy that, Control C, or some others copy, right click, and then paste in there. Okay, so if you're on a 32-bit computer, and you've got 32-bit Java JRE, leave it as it is, just leave it as program files you know, don't change anything if you are on a 64 bit version of uh, Windows what you want to do is do bracket x86 and then bracket and that is the the 64 bit version of Java JRE okay if you still don't know what version you're on and the DX Diag some reason it tell you and your Java didn't tell you what you can do is just head over to computer local to C and then look in your program files for Java and then find out where your JRE is installed so that is then click there and that should tell you your program directory so you, you want to really copy that there like that so it should say x86 if you you don't have if you don't have the x86 then just go with program files and leave it as it is so that is really simply it okay so now what we're going to do is go to file save as and then this is important this step if you just click save it won't work okay what you want to do is name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do mine just because it's YouTube server dot. If you don't add this bit at the end, it won't work. So dot bat bat. Then click save. You can close out of that. Now you should have server dot bat. Okay, so this won't work. If you double click this now, it will just do that. Unable to access craftbucket.jar. So just close it. So what you want to do is with your craft bucket that you downloaded, just drag that into there. Now right click and rename the craft bucket to this just craft bucket like that, just rename it to that now when you double click your server.bat it should run your server should now run okay give it a moment and now what it will do is it will create the spawn area for you and that is pretty much your server set up so how do I get friends to connect, well I'm not going to show this because um, there are tons of other tutorials on YouTube for this, but you can either use, um, sorry, uh, I just think now it's called, use Hamachi or you can port forward. It's up to you, your choice. Um, so just Google around, you know, YouTube how to do them because this is just a tutorial how to set up the server. And yeah, it's really not that complicated for Hamachi. It's pretty much download, install, create a network, and then change something in your server properties. So now what you want to do is just stop the server, just type in stop, like so. 
and it'll save it and then stop it. Okay. Saving chunks, give it a moment. There we go, server has stopped. Okay, so some errors that you, my guys, might get, I don't know, it depends on how well you followed the tutorial. Okay, so the first error is this one. Error fix time, really, this should be. Remove that. First, the first error is this one. Oh no, wow. <laughs> Looks like I have two versions of Java's installed. Um, Sorry about that. Well, the first error that you're going to get is the one that everyone gets on my website, which is PCGX, PC Gaming. Okay. I've actually forgotten my own website. <laughs> oh, this is not good. Uh, PC Gaming XI. I don't know. We'll just we'll just leave it for now. Um, but the error that everyone gets is server is unable to access craftbucket.jar. Um, so, if you have that problem, then it's because your program files is not correctly edited. Or if you get the other problem, it's because you've not renamed your craft bucket to just craft bucket. Um, so it should. So it's generally these two. Whatever's there in the craft bucket .jar bit, well, the craft bucket there should be what that's named. So if that's named, um, if that's named cake. Sorry about that, my phone decided to go off during the video. If it's that if that's named cake in there, then this has to be named cake as well, or else it just won't work. So now look, no matter what it's called, as long as it's named the same in the server.bar, it will run the server. Okay, so the next issue that everyone gets is this one. So we'll double click that. And then they'll double click that and it'll say something like server is already on same port. There we go, that one. So failed to bind server is already on the same port. What you want to do is just close that, come down. Right click task manager, once you've got task manager open, find Java and end the process. And now when you launch your server, it should work perfectly fine. So that's uh, pretty much it for the errors. I don't know about the memory heap one. Uh, one possible fix I think could be going to your Java in your control panel. Um, yep, Java in the control panel. Java. And then go in there and then dedicate in some RAM to it. So if you're on 2 gig or less, then I wouldn't really recommend you run a server on it because it's 2 gig you need. It's, I know people say that it's recommended 2 gig and up, but I recommend about 3, 4-ish before you start a server. So they're just my preferences. So anyway, guys, that is really it. So thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial helps you. So yeah, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out my Let's Plays. They will be... In the description at the very bottom so that is really it guys so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed